Hey, good evening, everyone. So, as I open up my Facebook this evening to do a quick check on my news feed, see what's going on before I head off to bed, first thing I see is Republicans are virtually being attacked. Now, nothing new. It's been going on for, well, at least the last two years. I mean, it's political dysfunction, I can proudly, not proudly, this political dysfunction that's been going on in our country has been going on for a long ass time. But ever since Donald Trump's been in office, there's been a huge controversy between Republicans and Democrats. So that's why I come off right away and say that Republicans, Republicans are being attacked. Now, what's new, right? Well, the thing I saw was Democrats, fucking cat, if you don't mind the, my phone jumping around, my cat's trying to jump up on my lap, but Democrats are telling people to lock their doors, refuse cops, because ICE is coming to look for those illegal aliens who are living in the streets amongst us. Now, you see, when a person breaks the law, you're going to expect Johnny Law to come looking for you. And these people, I'm not just talking about Mexicans, it's anybody who comes into another country illegally. Keyword illegally, don't mind my jumping around. It's illegal to come into another country without proper documentation. So when you do so, you're breaking the law, right? It's basic, simple facts. Well, you got all this bullshit going on around about, well, there is no such thing as illegal people. There is no illegal this, there is no Ill illegal that. You know, that's about the only smart thing that I've heard in a long time, is there is no such thing as illegal people. That is correct. But there are people committing illegal acts, hence breaking the law. Now, if I were to go to the bank, rob the place, and... Tell the cops that I'm in financial hardship. My house is about ready to get repoed. My car is going to get repoed. My kids don't have diapers. And my refrigerator is empty. Do you think they're going to give a shit about that? No. Do you think they're going to give a shit if I say that the reason I'm robbing this bank is because someone kidnapped my kids and they want $2 million by midnight today? Well, I ain't got $2 million in my bank, so let's go ahead and take $2 million from a bank. Do you think they're going to give a shit? No. You know where I'm going? Jail or prison. So why is it that Democrats are losing their minds when people enter the United States illegally and the government is coming for them? I want to know this. I want the understanding on why one side of the fence, illegal, means I'm going to jail. But the other side of the fence, no pun intended because of the wall, but the other side of the fence, illegal is perfectly fine. Now you see, if I were to go to Mexico illegally, do you think for one second, that I'm going to get a fair treatment? Do you think that I'm going to get government funding? Do you think that a Mexican lawyer is going to fight for me? No. I'm going to be locked in a prison for a period of time, probably a, a few years, I will have no justified trial. 
I will have no residents fighting for me. Now, sure, that's one thing that differs between the United States and other countries is you could say the American people care. But how well do you care that you're willing to heighten your taxes, state, federal, food, so that the country can get back the money that it lost by supporting those that aren't earning, those that don't put into the community, actually I can't say don't put into the community, because there are lots of illegal immigrants who do a hard day's work. And there are American citizens who are on welfare programs who sit on their fucking ass and suck it up. So, I guess you can say that whole thing about giving back to the community is where government assistance comes in. Because, quite honestly, like I just said, there's many of Americans out there who use and abuse the system. But when we're having to financially support these people coming here illegally, our taxes have to go up so our counties and our states can get their money back for doing this kind gesture. And where is that tax coming from? It's coming from you. It's coming from me. But that's okay. Let's raise our taxes. Let's raise our property taxes. Let's raise our state taxes. Let's raise our federal taxes. If it means that we can justify illegal immigrants coming into our country, why not, right? I mean, after all, we're already being raped by the government. Why not just add assault to it? But... That's quite all right. And I apologize for the quality of this video. For those of you who are avid viewers of my videos, first of all, I apologize for being such a long time since I put one out. Second of all, this video, as you notice, doesn't, gonna, doesn't have an intro. It's not going to have an outro. It's just when I saw that video where Democrats are telling people not to allow the cops into their residency without a warrant because ICE is coming after the illegals. I wanted to get this off my chest. So I'll leave you there. Let's hear your comments. I want to hear comments preferably about the topic matter. I don't want to hear any immature bullshit. I mean, I know it's going to come, but let's keep this on topic. Let's hear your thoughts and opinions on this matter. All right. Until next time, peace out.